Good morning. Today I'd like to share a story with you that happened a couple of years ago. It was a late evening. I just sat down in front of the television. I got a phone call from a friend and a member of our congregation telling me that his mother had passed away. Immediately I went over and we prayed and we were reminiscing and sharing memories and not a few laughs as well because his mother was incredibly funny. It wasn't unexpected. She was elderly and had been sick for quite a while, but he was sad. And he was telling me, you know, this is going to be particularly, particularly hard for me because this is the only person that's known me every moment of my life. In fact, when you think about it, his mother knew him long before he was born. From the moment he was conceived, she carried him. She went through the discomfort of, of pregnancy. She went through the pain of childbirth. And yet when that, that man, that when he was a little baby, was born, she loved that baby, even though there wasn't much return for that love. Because a little baby doesn't do much. No smiles, just crying, eating, sleeping. And yet she loved him. Why? Because that love came from within. Our mother's love comes from within. They love us just cause. Our God has that same kind of love for us. He knew that man and each one of us long before we were born too. He knit us together in our mother's womb. He formed and shaped us to be the people that we are. And he loves us with an unconditional love. There's two passages in the Old Testament that I always remember why he must love us, not because we deserve it. We disappoint him every day. Not that there's much return for his love when we really think about our inability to love really well. Psalm 23 says, He leads us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. It comes from within. And Isaiah 43, I, I am he who blots out all your transgressions for my name's sake, and I will remember them no more. It's because of who God is that he loves us, no matter what. That man was loved by his mother, no matter what. She never stopped loving him, never stopped praying for him. And our God has that same kind of love for us as well. And while I'm at it, happy Mother's Day, Mom. And to all you other moms out there and grandmas and spiritual moms, I thank God for you. God bless.